I have another example of the women of paradise. There was a man by the name of Julaybib who existed at the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Julaybib. Even by hearing the name, you would think to yourself, what kind of a name is that? Why? This man, in fact, subhanallah, it happened to be that he wasn't attractive in the eyes of many people. He wasn't a handsome man. His stature wasn't handsome. His face wasn't handsome. He wasn't one of those that you would call tall. And in fact, he was so unattractive to many people that one man said it and didn't fear Allah in saying it. He said, if I were to see him one more time, because I find him so unattractive, if I see his face one more time, I'm going to beat him. I'm going to beat him up just because he doesn't like looking at him. This man, Julaybib radiallahu anhu, was beautiful at heart and iman. And he never, no family would give him their daughter in marriage. No woman would accept him. And he had grown a little bit, you know, now getting to his middle age. And he complained to the Prophet wasallam. So the Prophet wasallam stood up in his service. And he went to a family he knew of. And he asked them, they welcomed him. And they said, Rasul wasallam is here. He said, yes, I have come to seek your daughter's hand. And now he said, wow, this is the greatest honor that has ever occurred to us in the history, in the history of our family. Our Rasul wasallam seeking the hand of our daughter. Obviously, they got it wrong. He said, it's not for me. They said, who is it for then? Now, keeping in mind, their daughter was inside. She wasn't outside. He was speaking to the father and Allah, and maybe the mother was there. And he said, it is for Julaybib. At that point, the father didn't know what to respond, except to say, Ya Rasulullah, now, Wallahi, you know, it's, it's a complicated situation. Anyone but Julaybib. So he basically said, no. Our Rasul Sallallahu stood up, because that's the nature of the man with honor, stood up, would not repeat his question and plea to them. He walked away, said they have the right to say no. Now their daughter who was inside had overheard a little bit of the conversation. She came out and she asked her parents, what did the Prophet ﷺ come for? They told her, Wallah, he came to seek your hand in marriage for Julaybib. And she was extremely shocked. What did her Iman make her say? She said, Ar Rasul Sallallahu in himself was here to seek my hand in marriage. It doesn't matter who it was for. He was here seeking my hand for someone. And you refused him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wallahi, I will accept no one but Julaybib. And so she put her parents in that position and she was given to Julaybib in marriage. The night of her marriage, before they actually consummated it, Julaybib had not consummated the marriage yet. Just the contract was done. Consummated the marriage, as in he did not have intercourse with her. They had just done the contract. So the call to jihad was made. So he went to jihad and Julaybib fought. And after the battle, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went around looking for Julaybib. And they said, Ya Rasulullah, he asked who has martyred, who has been killed in this war? They said so and so. so. And he would ask, where is Julaybib? But nobody would know where he was. In fact, nobody really asked about him because he wasn't an important person. Hardly anyone knew him. Everyone's talking about giving names. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is asking, where is my Julaybib? Mine. He is mine. He searched for him and found him amidst the martyred ones. He had been killed and Rasul Sallallahu grabbed his head, brought it close to him and he said, Julaybib is mine. He is of me and I am of him. And he told us about him being in paradise with his Hur Lain, his wives in paradise. But Julaybib is not the point here. The point here is the woman, Al Ansariya. She was from the Ansar tribe, whom her name, her name is not known to us. But this extraordinary response for the love of a Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the love of Allah, the love of Jannah. This is what the woman did. And this is an example to all of us. The beauty is the beauty of Iman for a Muslim. And how many handsome men with extraordinary bodies and so on and so forth, as the common 21st century puts it to the women today, have gotten married and divorced with only a couple of months, with only a year or two. How many of them and the wife wishes that she had never seen him and she finds him repulsive when every other woman may find him gorgeous. Women, this has happened to them many before. And how many men who are not very attractive and even women, vice versa, they get married and you find them that they see them the most beautiful thing that ever happened to them. It is their nature and their treatment which beautified them. And Islam is the best beautification for it is the religion and the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created the man and the woman and knows best what kind of guidance would attract them both to each other and make them live happy lives.